Do you see the screen here? Yeah. What do you see? <clears throat> I see a, a couple different businesses. I see one being somebody, a painter, you know. The other one could be a car washer or somebody to uh, pressure wash houses because, you know, you can do multiple things with that. Uh, somebody that can clean gutters, you can tell somebody, hey, look. Let me I know you're going too far. Let's, okay, let's, okay, let's, okay. Let's well, you asked like me crash. what I said. Okay, okay you, you're smarter than most people. <laughs> <laughs> I tell you that. Brent, audience, Brandon is smarter than most people because his mind <laughs> expanded out very quickly. Yeah, I didn't want that. All right. <laughs> On here, we have a pressure washer uh -huh. that costs $330. Brandon, put that in your calculator. Okay. We have a ladder that could go up real high, costs $292. We have a paint sprayer. Mm -hmm. This is very, very expensive, $584. Go ahead and put that one in too. Uh huh. And we have another ladder that costs $270. Okay. Also, we got some miscellaneous products here that we don't want to add in it, but it's going to be a bucket. It's going to be a good quality roller. Mm -hmm. It's going to be good quality, uh, well, cheap. Uh, what are standard? Those are look like standard roll brushes. Nah, nah, uh, uh. They're, not they're, they're not professional. No, if you, if you okay, well, you're right. You're right. You, know, you wear the professional ones. <laughs> no, me. I know because I've I tried to paint my house, and you could get these. It'll get it done, but it's not going to look professional. <laughs> well, you, it's the reusability. You yeah, know? well, that too. Because I, I like, like you say, you're going to have to go buy a bunch of different brushes if you do it this way and just keep repeating it over and over again. Yeah, this one you just, well, well, here's the business. You could be a painter. Mm -hmm. You could be a painter. So, Brandon, what's the total? We at $1,474. So, for $1,500. Mm hmm. With a little, with maybe three to four hours education on YouTube, <laughs> correct, and a vehicle that you hopefully you own already, mm -hmm. you could be a painter. Why do you think you need education before you be one, Brandon? Uh, well, you need a, you need some gen uh, general uh, education on how to use a pressure washer, how to paint some of the like standard mechanics of painting like put some blue tape down around the edges you need you need somebody to brush up on some of that stuff because you know you don't want to mess up anybody's furniture you need to lay the little tarps down do do that kind of stuff that is correct the difference between an amateur and a professional it's uh taping if you take <laughs> right. if you tape something up it will give it a professional look right. and also youtube will teach you about the different shines to paint like you got mm. satin yeah. you got semi-gloss you got eggshell you have uh, glossy, yeah. you have flat, you have satin. It's all those different things that you probably learn within a day. Yeah. And also, YouTube should teach you what different types of rollers to use. You got rollers that when you paint on the wall, it leaves like a smooth surface. Mm -hmm. And you got rollers where you paint on the wall, it leaves a small little texture. Yeah. So that kind of stuff you probably need to learn on YouTube. So Brandon did the calculations for $1,500 plus miscellaneous items. You can start your whole painting services, man. And Brandon, how much people get paid for paint? <laughs> A lot. Like if you wanted to get your house painted, Somebody could quote you. I mean, somebody could quote you about $1,000 and you'd be like, well, that, that seems like a lot, but. You know, if you buy paint, paint is expensive to buy too, especially if you get in a certain kind. So a painter can, I'm not, like I said, I'm not exactly sure how much a, a painter could quote for your house, but. Well, I just quoted it. So let me set you up. Go ahead. All right. <laughs> a, a one story home uh -huh. could cost anywhere from $1,500 to $3,500. Right. And now, that is, that's reasonable too. Yeah, that's reasonable. Right. Uh, now, I would probably say supplies. I'm not a professional. I'll probably say supplies will probably run you two hundred dollars. Okay. Maybe two fifty. So your labor in a day or two, you'll like to do two coats. I'm not a professional, but you'll want to do two coats. Yeah, for sure. So you got two hundred and fifty dollars in labor. In two days, you can pull off at the minimal a thousand dollars, at least a thousand dollars. Right, right. Tax no, free. You won't have to have like a bunch of different things going on. Well, yeah, it could be tax free for sure. <laughs> but, but don't do it because it'll mess you up when you get older. 
Right. And are people going to be really bothering you while, while you're painting? They're going to probably just leave you alone to let you do your thing. That's false. That is false. <laughs> okay, go ahead. Go ahead. Why, why do you say that? You have a few different type, types of people in the world. <laughs> this is true. You have my fiance. Okay. Knows it that a motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> so if you out doing something, she gonna be on your back watching. That that is true. That is true. I'm <laughs> just not that type of person because I know how. <laughs> if I'm painting, you can feel somebody watching you on your back. And sometimes if somebody's watching you and you're working, it'll throw you off. You won't be able to execute like you want to execute because you'll just be a little more nervous or a little Correct. taken back. When I'm doing training and when my boss lady telling me like what to do as she watching mm -hmm. i make more mistakes because she over my damn back <laughs> watching right you know so but if you got a two-story house how much on the screen brandon the the paint a two-story three thousand to sixty two so a two-story house will make may cost three hundred dollars worth of supplies <laughs> mm -hmm. but how much boy you making some money jack you, you are, making you some are. money mm -hmm. if you okay at the bottom picture is a bedroom. It could be a bedroom, a closet, a bathroom. Per the internet, to paint a room in the house could cost anywhere between a hundred and fifty dollars to twenty five hundred dollars. Mm -hmm. Now I'm gonna give you a tip. Let's see how I go back. Now, if a room costs twenty five hundred dollars, Brandon, what, <laughs> what kind of equipment you think you'll need? You'll probably need the better equipment if it's twenty. That's a twenty five hundred dollar. Brandon is wrong here. Why you say that? You would need the reason I can't paint everything I want to paint because I don't got this big ass ladder <laughs> right, right here. Correct. <laughs> I'm, I'm not. I'm actually not finished my house now because I was cheap and I don't want to buy that ladder yet because <laughs> it's a high part on by, by my stairs and you need a, a ladder that kind of folds and bends and locks in place. You can't just throw a regular ladder up there. There you <laughs> go. That's why I believe people could charge more. So when you have right. your homes with a lot of angles and. Yep vaulted ceilings and <laughs> yeah. stuff yeah you're right an uh, average person can't you don't got no regular ladder <laughs> no, to get no up you there. don't no you don't and most and, people don't want to do that kind of stuff so they'll they will pay to get it done correct and uh, one of the best things about this job now everybody can't paint brandon could you believe that <laughs> painting is challenging if you haven't ever tried to paint it's challenging how the hell paint challenging brandon why, why would you think so? So what makes you a good painter? Because you're good at art, number one. Let's, let's start there. But everybody doesn't have the patience to put that tape down over all the borders in the house, over, over all the ceilings. So what do people normally do? I got it. I'm just going to ease at the top. I'm going to ease at the top. And, or I'm, I'm going to ease at the bottom and I'll be all right. And that's when people start messing up. Oh, you know, I'm not going to put the tarp down on the carpet over here. I think I kind of got the, I got the rhythm. I know how, I'm not going to drip something. And that's when people drip something over something. Is that not true? Because it paint, okay. it takes preparation. It takes preparation. And, prepar and, do, and do most people do that? Do most people uh, prepare for something all the way and fo keep following through with what they? Well, if you running this business, you better prepare. <laughs> okay. All right. <laughs> if you running this business, you better prepare. We try to get professionals. <laughs> we try. We try to put everybody on quick, easy money. <laughs> All right, brother, so guys, brother work the consumer said, especially paint to materials. Not every paint goes on everything. That's true too. Mm. That yes, Mr. Brother works. That's why we said YouTube because you know you got your water based paints and you got your oil based paints. Yeah, and some some paints have primer in it already. Some don't. Correct. You know, and also you need to learn how to use this because this can destroy wood, <laughs> <laughs> oh, or no, or. <laughs> It can make your job easier by <laughs> stripping off the paint. And you, right. it's, it's, it's a balance. Okay. But these supplies in here, I pick. Now, you know, you could get cheaper stuff from right now. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. You could get cheaper stuff. But right here is the baseline product. I mean, if you got this right here, you can start. I can guarantee you, if you just buy this, you could do three houses. Three but five that, houses a year. Yeah, but that's the thing. And it'll save you a lot more time, especially if you're doing it by yourself. Then again, going a cheaper route, and it, it may not be as smooth. You might have to go over something twice. It may be harder to move it around. So sometimes spending a couple extra dollars will save you time and money in the end. And watch this, Brent. Brandon, did you know I used to make paint? No, I didn't know that. <laughs> For two months in Baltimore, Sheryl Williams, I was in the factory oh, yeah? making paint. <laughs> and you know All what? Right. So so tell us how, because because you know, like I said, I bought paint, making paint is a totally different experience than i thought it was like there is it's computerized 
and the computer kind of like if no, I want to go ahead, yeah, go ahead. Tell me your tell me your when experience. Brandon, when Brandon talk about, he talk about some ludicrous shit right here. <laughs> okay, well go ahead. You know, well, tell me, goes, tell me. Go ahead. Tell me. The, to end consumer store uh-huh. and it's computerized. I'm talking about we at the, the factory. <laughs> okay. Niggas well, I thought those fifty pound bags on the back. Fire. <laughs> <Ripple. laughs> and stick it up. <laughs> well, so, so why <laughs> what's the difference what's the difference with doing it that way so why so, but the, but that's how i thought so, the dust so motherfucking cloudy you can't even see in the bitch <laughs> but that's how i thought they were doing a paint like i thought it was a bunch of different stuff going on but i went into the sharon whatever the paint store is i was like yeah this is the one i need they said boop 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 boop, boop. they say no they didn't hell no, that stuff came hell, out. no. hell no <laughs> You go, you go to work. Uh, we got to do damn. How many gallons? Oh, it made a hundred thousand gallons. There's a, lo- a whole bunch of gallons you got to do in a day. <laughs> so you got two things. You got cannon, uh-huh. uh, the buckets. The you got the five gallon buckets. You got mm-hmm. the one, uh, the, the the one gallon buckets. I know what you're talking about. But in the back of the back, you got people wearing suits <laughs> with a whole bunch of chemicals, man. <laughs> a whole bunch of like uh, powdery stuff. Uh-huh. So different kind of chemicals go in it. They got to mix it. You got to keep on mixing it. For this hour. Home Depot ba- uh, uh, bucket right here. This is a one gallon or two gallon. That's a five gallon. That's a five Depot gallon. Bucket. Okay. That's five gallon. I'm trying to think what so, it'll be one gallon. Okay. Five gallon. Yeah. And those and those buckets in, in the production lines. They, every three seconds, one was getting filled up. <laughs> <laughs> Man, they was back there. I'm talking about. You got to lift them bags up. This ain't no damn robot. It's- <laughs> <laughs> it says don't roll by. <laughs> and then you take that knife, oh. <laughs> and then you shake that motherfucker in the mixer. I got you. And they, they mix it up. So once they get it mixed up, they store that slurry into mm-hmm. a like a, a holding tank. Mm-hmm. Then once it goes in the holding tank, the guys on the production line will on on, on our machines or their machines, they will process that stuff into your one gallon and five gallon buckets okay now i'm talking about brandon you see this <laughs> that's how fast the fuck is coming out right and you right here but you got this whole room is moving and you got to watch everything <laughs> moving around you everything moving right. around you and um Shirley williams just to let you guys know they make paint for all the lows all the paints and lows mm-hmm. all the paint in walmart and all the paint in Shirley williams mm-hmm. so Oh, most of most of the stuff. Mm. So is that how they store them to get ready to mix them with other paints to make the all these other paints that they have? So what you're getting at your consumer store, you're mm-hmm. getting a base paint. Mm-hmm. So sometimes it may not have a tin in it yet. Mm-hmm. It just has the the chemicals in it. Right, right. And okay. you pay you pay for the chemicals. You pay for like if if you really want, if you got to do a million dollar home, you think mm-hmm. what, what kind of paint would you use? Will you use a ten dollar paint or a hundred dollar paint? A <laughs> hundred dollar paint, and it's a complete difference. <coughs> it's a hundred dollar re- paint. You're saying the the, the regular makeup of the hundred dollar paint is completely different from the ten dollar paint? Okay, yes. I got you. That makes they sense. put they put chemicals in it to make it look better, roll mm-hmm. better, last longer. The fight the fight dust, mm-hmm. the fight mold. They put more chemicals in it. I got you. So, That's something I never knew, but yeah, <laughs> yeah. But your Walmart paint, your Lowe's paint, and Shirley Williams paint come from the same factory. Okay. All right. So this is your prices. So if me and Brandon was a young man, and we want to get our money up with good customer service, that's what gets people right. Mm-hmm. We inform people how paint is 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 for maintenance yeah. and to increase your home value. Right. We'll, t- we'll educate the customer and we'll be lower than the Hispanic guys because we don't <laughs> got nothing, Brandon. We got to get up in there. We know what it is. We do. Yeah, we yeah. sure do. So the Hispanic guy won a thousand. We going for 900. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we young. We don't got nothing. Right. Sure, we got to get it. And, and you, you have to out hustle them. You have, you have to out hustle them because right now we're being out hustled. Correct. And what kind of carrying costs do we have, Brandon, besides insurance? Mm, let me think. I mean, of course, we're going to have to buy the paint, I guess, if we get projects. That's, that's uh, not carrying costs. So what, what, what would be our carrying costs? I'm trying to think. I mean, we don't necessarily need electricity. You just we, need we, a place to store the old equipment out and get it stolen. <laughs> all right. That's all you need. Mm-hmm. You don't need nothing I'm else. Trying to think, that, that would really be it. And assurance. That's it. Nothing else. 
Do we need insurance? But yeah, I guess we do. Because if we mess up somebody's uh, stuff, I guess, is that the type of insurance you're talking about? Now, Brandon, I said we want these guys to be professional and you try okay, to but, be hustlers. But still, but still do, so what will we do? But that's that's no, something we, that... We will have, we will be licensed and bonded. <laughs> so if okay. we get hurt at your, at your house, we ain't going to sue your house. We'll sue our company. <laughs> okay. All right. Fair we enough. Try, we probably, and what's that going to cost you? $300 a year? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> you know, <laughs> You had insurance at your restaurant. I did my restaurant. Uh huh. <laughs> yeah, it was one in the end. <laughs> right. And you know, they tried to get hurt, too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. So, guys, you could start a painting company for $1,500 with low carrying and costs, and you could make some money. Could you say you, you be your own boss? Is that a selling point? Because we are trying to convince people to go this route to get some extra money, you know. Now, now the goal is mm -hmm. you go work it till you get enough money to hire a person to work mm -hmm. it for you. Right. So here's the thing what people greedy black some greedy black people don't understand. Fifteen hundred dollars, right, Brandon? Yeah. Supplies cost three hundred. So you left with uh what's that, twelve? Mm-hmm. All right. <laughs> what would you do? Do you want the whole twelve? Mm -mm. Or you want to sit at your house? Right. And get, get eight hundred. <laughs> yeah, 800. I'll six. I'll, t I'll even take six if somebody's or gonna six. do it right. Yeah, yeah. There you go. And that's what we teach. Try to teach you how to do. <laughs> right. You don't need to get all the money. <laughs> but Wait, sometimes, no. like I say, what? Go ahead. Okay. You know, if you get all the money, it's cost you time. Mm -hmm. Sometimes use somebody else's time to get some of the money. Yeah. But you can't do that in your biggest stages. You have to do that once you start getting more clientele, more yeah, customers. Yeah. And then you'll be your own boss. Right. All right, Brandon. <laughs> what you see on here? What kind of what kind of what you see on a, lawn, here? a lawn care business? All right. Now, in most states, not Maryland, but in most states, you don't need no special license or anything. So you it's need a license? You need I got it out. You need a license in Maryland? Uh if you put something that will stay with the home. So if mm -hmm. you put like a, a a flower or a bush or a mailbox mm -hmm. up, yes. Okay. Hey, good day, uh, everybody. My name is Lewis, and just I'm just came to let you know that I have the best financial book for Black people on the market today. This book is designed to help you with things like student loans, housing, employment, and also create income streams so you can support your family and provide security for everybody around you guys. This book is uh, black owned, and I use a whole lot of black companies making this book. This book is available on the link below. Make sure you check it out, guys. Check out my reviews. As of today, every person who read my book gave me a phone call about how great the book is, guys. Don't miss this great opportunity to own some black magic, guys. And it's a quick read and it's entertainment. Look at it. I got strippers in the name. But the book is called From Zero to 200K. You can check out this book with the link below. Have a good day.